What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 10 gets a new package manager. And that's what we're going to be taking a look today. If you want to join up, you can join the Windows package manager inside this program. Just head over to the link that I'll put in the video description. Put in your email address and submit that. Once you've done this, once you've done that, you can head over to the Microsoft Store and download the app installer. Very simple and easy to do. So just go down to the bottom here. Click on the Microsoft Store and up the top here, you can do a search for App Installer. So up here, you'll see a search. Just put App Installer inside here. Might not be already installed, but just click on App Installer here. There we go. Now, once you've done this, you can click App Installer and this will open up a window and you can click Install. Now, a couple of things that I did do just to make sure everything run OK was go into my privacy settings inside Windows 10 and set the diagnostic and feedback to optional diagnostic data. That is because we're in the insider program here to use uh, the Microsoft uh, package manager because it's the insider preview that we're using here. You can unsubscribe at any time. You can see there's a link there. I also went into the Windows insider program here and just set this up. And I set mine to release preview channel. I'm not sure whether this is essential criteria that you have to do to use the uh, Insider Program Package Manager app, but that's what I did just to use it to make sure there was no issues. But let me know in the comment section below whether you have to do this step or not, or whether you have to have the diagnostic feedback option to optional. I would be interested to know. But they're the ones that I set just to make sure that I was okay with that and then confirmed and continued. So once that's done, I confirmed this and moved on to the next step and they have to restart the PC and then you can start to use the package manager. Now also you can head over to the Windows package manager on GitHub and download this one here. Just hit this and download it and install it on your system. That will get it all ready. And then basically once that's done, you should be able to use the Winget uh, function inside Windows 10. So here we have the app update installer so i'm just going to quickly update this and get this installed on the system and this is the way i did it in the end uh, so i did this way so that's now on the system and now we can close this box off and go into our uh, command prompt or we can go into powershell i'm going to use powershell here you don't need the administrator part for most of the uh, commands so i'm just going to be in here and basically we're going to type here uh, win get and this will open up the win get and show us what we can actually do inside here the following commands are available to us the install and also show source search list upgrade uninstall hash validate settings features export and import these are all the functions that we can use i'll go through some of these for you so you can get a general idea on how to use it there is a gui on this as well which someone's created, which I'll try and do a video on as well. So let's do winget search, and then we're going to do space, inverted commas, visual space, studio, and inverted commas. And this will go out and search and tell us all about the visual studios that are available. And you can see there's a big list of them all here. So these are the list of uh, visual studios here. And that's because we use the show command here. So that's what we use to get up the information. Now, this will give you the information that you want about uh, whatever you're searching for, but I'm just showing you here with Visual Studio. So let me just do another command here so we can do winget show. And now we can get some more information about the actual package itself, which is we're going to be doing Microsoft.VisualStudio code here, which is in the list on the ID tag there. You can see it listed here. So let me just quickly type this out and we'll push enter on here. So once we've done this, push enter. And this should give us the information where this package is and who owns it and everything else. You can see here the publisher is Microsoft Corporation. And it's just given us the information about that package there. So Microsoft Visual Studio C++. And then it gives you uh, where it was found, the version, the publisher, and also gives you the download link and everything else, the license. Gives you all that information which will be useful for you when you're uh, downloading stuff that gives you the download link there as well to show you where it's coming from, which is always good because obviously you don't want to download anything that can be dodgy. So that is how you can quickly show all the information for Visual Studio and then um, pick out one package that you want to have a look at. Now, also, if we want to go over to Microsoft uh, Winget, 
packages and go to manifest here. Inside here, this will give you the full catalog of downloads here that you can do. And you can see they're in uh, folders and you could click on these and it will give you all the information about what you can download and what you can install. Now, this is growing all the time, of course, and um, just give it more time and there'll be tons more here, but there is already a load of stuff you can already download and install and uninstall from here. Now, there is other ones out there available like Chocolate E. This is an open source project here, which you can use and download and install and uninstall and update and show information and basically manage all of your installations. So if you've got any sort of programs that are pre-installed already without using this, it will automatically manage those as well. And you'll be able to update and also uninstall and install them as well. And you can see quite a few here. And this is just going to get bigger and bigger. There's more added every single day. So whatever you're looking for, I'm pretty sure it's going to be already on here. And you can always uh, submit other ones as well if that's what you want to do. There's an option on this site to submit um, other programs that you would like to be added into it. So let's take a look at how we can install and uninstall and how we can update our programs as well, because you can actually update all of your programs. You can do a search for a program as well. So HW Info, I did a search for that, and that's already up here as well. And you can install that from here. So I'll show you how to do some um, installs and uninstalls and updates as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to the command prompt again, and we'll take a look there. Now, remember, you can use the command prompt window or you can use PowerShell, whatever you want to do here. So let's go ahead and install something. I'm going to go ahead and install Rufus. So let's go winget space install space Rufus. And if I wanted to uninstall Rufus, I would just do winget space uninstall space Rufus and it will go ahead and uninstall it. So we've just gone ahead and installed that. So it's that simple. Now, if I wanted to update it, or upgrade it, all I'd need to do is go winget space upgrade and then space Rufus and it will go ahead and upgrade that for us. But it doesn't need to be upgraded because I've just installed it and it's the very latest version because it always downloads the very latest versions for you. Now, if I wanted to upgrade all of the applications on my computer, I could literally uh, type out the winget command and that would be winget space upgrade and then space dash dash and then all and then you push enter and it will go ahead and upgrade all the applications on my system they're all already upgraded so they're not going to be able to update those but that's basically how you would do that and to uninstall it as i said you do winget space uninstall space rufus and it will remove it so let's get a list of all the applications on our computer so we can go winget space export and then space dash O and then space and you can put the location where you want to put it let's put it into our root directory by going c colon backslash list dot txt and it will put a list of all the applications it will bring it up on the screen here as you can see so you can see all the games and stuff and everything that i've installed on this system there's not a lot on here because it's a fresh install but if you wanted to get that list and and go to get it, you can export it where we exported it to, which was on our C root directory here. And you can then open this up and it will come in as a text document here and give you a load of information, which is quite useful. So yeah, that's uh, basically how you can export your list there using uh, the Winget package manager. Very useful little package manager this. Uh, give it a go and let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some use to you. Quite a few people recommended this video, so I've made it for you guys. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Bye for now.